Hello, I'm Sandra Starks and I'm Chair of the Board of Directors for the Council on Social Work Education. Greetings to you, the graduates of social work programs across this country. Whether you've earned your baccalaureate, master's, or doctoral degrees, I want to say congratulations on your hard work and dedication. Commencements are a special time for graduates and educators alike. As a director of the Western Kentucky University MSW program, I know how frustrating this particular graduating graduation season has been for all of us. I also know how resourceful and creative social workers, students, and educators can be, and I appreciate the chance to share my thoughts with all of you. In addition to adjusting to life and completing your education amid a global health pandemic, you've also been faced with another pandemic, racism. The spread of COVID-19 has shown this country how much disparities and racism have contributed to the death of far too many black and brown people. As I said to my commencement group at WKU, I've never been prouder of a cohort of graduates because of what you have overcome so far and the enormous challenges ahead of you. We're all faced with trying to dismantle this white supremacy, patriarchy, and oppressive policies and practices. The time has finally come for social workers to take a stand in dismantling these systems of oppression and to make a commitment, a solid commitment for justice, establishing social, economic, and environmental justice for all people. This season, the wounds are publicly exposed, revealing these disparities based on the color of skin and on anything different than the privileged which we know to be white, Christian, heterosexual, and male. As social workers, we have talked this talk for decades. Now is the time for action. We are challenged with confronting the need for reforms to law enforcement practices and culture as more unarmed people who are black and brown are dying as a result of police brutality. We're challenged with disparities in access and qualities of practices in healthcare, housing, education, and employment. We know opportunities are not the same for all people. But I'm not discouraged. I will not be rendered hopeless because I believe that with crisis and chaos comes opportunity. Opportunity to challenge, to change, and to create a more just society that respects and values all of its citizens, a society that polices and practices humanity for all. I believe in you, the graduates of 2020. I believe in your courage, your commitment, insights, and your energy. You have the ability to access and develop necessary resources to start this change process. I believe we have provided the tools for you to have courageous conversations, to organize, to facilitate collaborative development, and to advocate. It is our job as social workers to bring people and communities together, not to divide. And I always think of social work as the integrated field of practice it was designed to be, which means that macro is just as important as micro and meso. And these times, contemporary times, call for an integrated approach to the systemic issues in both of these pandemics. These past few weeks have been horrific. But a call to action has been launched. You have reached out to us, the leadership of social work education from across the nation, and I want you to know we have heard you. Collaboratively, we can do better. We hold social workers to a higher standard of accountability, and I pledge to do my part in moving the needle of justice. I pledge that as you're in my role as chair of the Board of the Council on Social Work Education to stay focused, to continue the march forward on a path committed toward change, the change that you are demanding. Change in our practices, our policies, changes in our curriculum, the way we teach, that can earnestly promote the dismantling of white supremacy, patriarchy, income inequities, and systems of oppression. Let's strengthen macro practice as the structure to create effective change at all levels. As we work in communities, we need to work alongside people as they come together and demand change. 
we must collectively identify and promote effective social and political change. So this is my pledge, and this is your charge, I think, and this is also your legacy. So I want to leave you with five reminders. Please stay involved and active. In order to make this world a better place than it, than it is, it's going to take all of us. Stay connected to your peer groups, your professional organizations, NASW, CSWE, NABSW, BPD, just to name a few. Make sure you carry that practice of self-care and lifelong learning with you throughout your career and your life. This learning always requires critical self-reflection. It always starts with us examining where we are and where we need to be. Number three, use your courage and your voice to speak out. Speak truth to power. Stamp out ignorance, racism, oppression in all its forms and all its many faces. Number four, remember why you chose such a dedicated profession, one anchored in ethics and values. Use your knowledge, values, skills, and talents to make this change, to make this world a better place than when you entered. Social work is a multi-level integrated practice. We enjoy what happens when we work across levels, micro, meso, macro. We remember that political is personal and personal is political. And number five, be the future leaders. Step up to the call. You are what we've been waiting for. Now's the time. These are the causes, and you are the ones. This time of reckoning can lead us to a time of rebuilding. Let's use it that way. So in closing, congratulations again to each of the 47,000 graduates from social work programs entering the workforce this year. Congratulations to you. May you be the change you know is needed. I see you. I heard you. I'm proud of you. And I look forward to the impact you would make, my new colleagues.